do is we're gonna chain 50. Three, four, five, six. Okay, so I chained 50, and now what we wanna do is make this into a circle for the neck. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna pay attention to your chain so that you're not getting it crooked. Like I like to go extra slow on this just to be safe. And you're gonna insert your hook into the first chain you made. Okay. You're gonna yarn over and pull through both of those. And that is closing the neck of your poncho. So this will sit on the child, um, going through the child's head and sitting on its shoulders. If you don't think this is big enough, can always chain more in, in tens, and then it should work out perfect. Okay, now working over that straggler end, you're gonna go ahead and chain up one, and you're going to single crochet in every stitch around. So to single crochet, you're gonna single crochet in the chain one spot too. So to single crochet, you're going to insert your hook into the stitch, yarn over and pull through, and then yarn over and pull through both. Again, you're going to insert into the stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through both. Okay, so just go ahead and single crochet all the way around and I'll meet you back up when I have that completed. Alright, so moving on we went ahead and slip stitched into the top of the chain, or in the top of the first single crochet. So now we're going to go ahead and chain up three. Okay. And that's going to count as our first double crochet. Then we're going to put two more double crochet into that stitch there. Okay, we're going to skip two stitches while chain one, skip two stitches and go into the next double crochet into the next stitch and put three double crochet. Now, depending upon how many you have chained here will depend upon how many double crochets you have in between your corners. So you only want two corners. Skip two, remember don't forget to chain that one. Three double crochet. Chain one. Skip two. Three double crochet. Okay, so I just put in my last double crochet by itself, and you see I have one, two, and then I go into the third stitch, which is gonna be where I started, and I'm gonna put three double crochet. Okay, then I'm going to chain my two, and slip stitch into the top of that chain three. And there you go. So when you go to fold the collar on itself like this. It should, the two corners should line up perfectly, like so. So it should make like a V. If they don't line up, if they're off by a little bit, then you need to recount how many um, double single double crochets you have in the middle. It really all just depends on how many stitches you have. But that's how the beginning should look. Let's go ahead and move on to the next round. So because we're in a corner here, we're just going to go ahead and chain up three, and we're going to go into that corner and put two double crochet, okay? Chain one. Leave that alone now. And then just go ahead and continue going all the way around with your double crochets. Okay, don't forget to chain one after each cluster of three into the, the holes there. And as you're going around, this is gonna to start to increase. So we'll see it starting to get bigger and bigger. And um, let me go ahead and put that aside. The one I completed yesterday is over here. I will get you a frontal view of it. But I completed this one yesterday. Here it is. Okay, and you can see the two, the two corners match up perfectly as it's folded down on itself, and this is what it looks like, and this is the flower we made to go on top of it. This is also Red Heart yarn, In the green is mint, I believe it was called, mint. 
and then this is just their classic white and this is a soft pink all right so here we just finished that one so I will go ahead and let you finish this round again you're just putting three double crochets in every one of the the sides and then in the corner here where you did your three double crochets chain two three double crochets you're going to put three double crochets chain two three double crochets chain one and then go on um, I'll meet you back up when I have three more of these rows done and then we will change colors okay so I did four rows of the greeny look and including this row that makes five rows so I like to do five rows and then change color and do two rows and then change back and do five rows so all I did was chain up one then I'm going to cut my yarn I'm gonna make it a nice tail and I mean not too long okay and then I'm gonna pull that through and it's gonna form a knot and I'm just gonna tighten that knot down okay now I'm gonna take my secondary color and for me I'm gonna use white I'm just gonna pull a sizable amount of this yarn since it is a new ball Okay, I'm going to start with a slip knot. Now, you do not have to start with a slip knot. That is preference. And then we're just going to go right back into this corner. And that's the cool thing about this pattern is you can just go right back into the corner and you'll never know that it was different. Then we're going to chain three. Okay. And then just continue on. So we're going to put three doubles in here. Remember, in the corner, in the beginning of the corner, we only put three doubles and we chain one okay and then we go on we leave that alone so that we can finish it off later and now I'm going to work over top of these stragglers and yes you will see them in the middle but when I go back around to do my second row of white I go under these and this will pull them up and hide them into that next stitch so you won't see them at all so this is how I like to hide my ends when I'm doing granny square because you cannot see them and it definitely saves time not having to weave those ends in at the end of the project mm -hmm. which can honestly be a pain in the butt so I'm gonna go ahead and finish this round off and leave you to it and then I will come back and show you exactly how I hide these tails okay that round now we're just gonna chain up three Again, put two double crochets into the stitch we are coming out of and leave that be. Okay, and now we're going to hop over to here. And like I was saying, I like to insert my stitch, my hook underneath those stragglers and pull up and then work it. And if you can see, whoop. Let me do one more and then I'll show you how that looks okay and you can see you don't even see it anymore I mean it's underneath it's hidden away and there's no way that that's gonna ever come out okay so go ahead and finish your shawl or your poncho until it measures 24 inches from the top of the neck to the very bottom okay so I'm gonna start with a slip knot we're gonna chain up four and then into that um, first stitch here we're going to place five six no five double uh, half double crochets because the chain two counts as your other one and you want six in their total that's one two three four five six and then we're gonna slip stitch into that that chain two, the top of that chain two. okay so that makes six and we're just going to slip stitch into that chain two right in the top of that chain two which is off to the side there okay and we're gonna pull that bottom tight oopies <laughs> alright so now we are going to chain up um, three one two three and into that same stitch 
going to place three double crochets. Two and three. Then we're going to chain one and slip stitch into the next stitch. Like so, chain three, three double crochets. Okay, chain one and slip stitch into the next stitch. Chain three, three double crochet. Chain one, slip stitch into the next stitch, chain three, and three double crochets. Okay, so go ahead and finish that off, and I will meet you back up when I have that done. And you should have six petals at the end of this round. I will show you how to um, slip stitch into the top, and we'll go onward. So now we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to chain up four. This time we're going to slip stitch into the, um, the chain two space there, right into the middle, like so, chain four, and slip stitch again back into there. And once you get the hang of this, I mean, it becomes easy. So at this point, you can stop after this next round because we're just going to repeat what we did before, except this time we're going to put six petals in there. Right into... There we go. Yarn over and pull through both. Whoop. chain four. So go ahead and finish that. Chain up your four, insert into that chain two space there, and then slip stitch. Chain four, insert into that chain two space right on the bottom, and slip stitch. One, two, three, four, and I think I'm coming up to my last one here. So then we're going to slip stitch down into that chain four space, okay? Then we're just going to slip stitch, oi, I slip stitched in the wrong area. Sorry, there's a school bus going by. Okay, so then we're gonna slip stitch this last one right into the chain four that we did from the first one, just directly into there, like so. Therefore, we're in there and we're ready to go. So, we're gonna chain up our three. And this time, we're gonna put six double crochets into that chain four space. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let me count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, six. Okay, then you're gonna chain up two and slip stitch back into that same spot, like so. And then slip stitch over, chain up three, and put six double crochet. So I'm gonna go ahead and let you finish this off. And if you choose to be done at this point, go ahead and be done at this point. Um, you don't have to continue onward to the, two, three, four, five, to a bigger round. Um, you can make this bigger if you want, but this is gonna be the end of my round after I finish this off. Okay, so I just finished that off and I'm going to slip stitch to the top there. And voila, actually, I'm gonna slip stitch from here, from the chain two, two, back into here. And from here into the top of that chain. Okay? Oh, yeah. 
I lost it again. All right, then we're gonna chain up one, cut a nice size tail so that you can sew this on your finished project and pull tight. Now, you're gonna have to position the petals and work with those and what whatnot, but this is it. And like I said, if you wanted to continue on after that round, you most certainly can make this a little larger. All you have to do is chain up four, um, slip stitch into that chain two space, and then put one more double crochet. So you would put seven instead of six into that, that round. But here's what it looks like so far. 